So yes, I've had patients come in who were diagnosed with a bunch of different types of tumors that really didn't seem to fit any sort of pattern. And they had been all over creation, seeing different neurologists, ear, nose, and throat doctors, all kinds of things to try to figure out what all these tumors were. None of them were cancer, but there were still a lot of tumors. So I sat down with the patient and went through their entire medical history and kind of played detective. And so I found a bunch of different red flags that was pointing towards this genetic condition called neurofibromatosis type two. Um, so as we went through this and as we did genetic testing for neurofibromatosis type two, it came back negative. And most people would just stop there and be like, okay, you don't have it. But we went the next step and realized that the patient is mosaic. So that means that some of their cells have neurofibromatosis type 2 and some of their body cells do not. So the blood cells did not, um, but the rest of other party parts did that had these tumors. So that was a really complicated case that, you know, having to go through genetic counseling was really good answers for that patient. So we finally figured it out.